फल डे स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अवर रिविजन सेशन we as you all know we are continuing the revision of chapter number 5 some of the examples we have solved already which includes revision of linear equation of two variables one variable we have also if you know that we have taken that part also that is not just to solve the equation but at the same time also after solving the equation we also understood how to verify the answer you got how to tell you whether the answer obtained by you is correct or not even my dear student in exam also in test also you can apply such verification which will ensure that the example solved by you is correct or not so the verification of some looks to me important okay two examples we have already discussed in our revision lecture number 8 okay that you all know now the last revision lecture for this particular chapter we are now going to cover some of the important examples understand we have already given as you all know <coughs> uh, seven lecture already one more lecture lecture number 8 as a revision lecture and today dear student you are attending lecture okay you are attending today lecture number 9 the last one in this particular chapter as far as as you all know one thing very well as far as revision is concerned we are avoiding the explanation of some easy examples because it may happen that maximum number of student from you are able to solve those simple equations but when it comes a question of solving some of the difficult equation you need to be very conscious in solving difficult equation we have solved previous lecture all ready to difficult example and their verification in this particular lecture we are still going to discuss some difficult examples okay so dear student i am just continuing the number as 3 okay and what is the question solve let me write the equation solve 
x plus 2 upon 3 solve x plus 2 upon 3 minus x minus 3 upon 4 just write the question is equals to 5 minus x minus 1 upon 2 x plus 2 upon 3 minus x minus 3 upon 4 equals to 5 minus x minus 1 upon 2. This particular example not only you have to solve but this is an important instruction verify okay your answer means the answer which you obtain by solving this particular example does it tally with the given data or not that you need to check okay so example we have written now dear student let me write the sum again x plus 2 upon 3 okay minus x minus 3 upon 4 okay is equal to 5 upon 1 minus x minus 1 upon 2. This is the basic equation and as you know there was no denominator in 5 so we have already placed 1 is it clear now it's a simple question of equalizing the denominator to solve the given equation just a question of equalizing the denominator okay let us do it you will take the LCM of 3 4 and 2 it is going to be 12 12 is the LCM and accordingly let us try to solve this example okay now dear student be conscious 3 4 jar 12 rather than writing here I will place 4 precede to this linear polynomial make this very clear in your mind 4 3 ja I will place 3 previous to this linear polynomial 3 4 ja for 3 ja equals to 5 upon 1 1 12 ja so I will multiply 12 here please go on checking the example which we are doing concentrate on 
each and every step understand right minus 2 six ja so six has to precede the linear polynomial x minus 5 first dear student please verify this step we have taken here one as denominator understand why to facilitate the process of equalizing the denominator that's why only that's why we have done this you understood this okay denominator are equalized by taking lcm now dear student just concentrate for x please concentrate here for to ja 8 upon 12 you understood this minus let us open the bracket 3x minus 9 upon 12 okay is equals to 60 upon 12 just verify once i will write the step here i will definitely move a little bit so that you can see and visualize the steps written by me which will comfort you to understand the step and write it okay let us open 6x 6 1 ja 6 upon 12 common denominator to cancel rest of the term to be written as it is but here again cosine point d a student minus sign so in bracket 3x minus 9 is it clear equals to 60 minus in bracket 6x minus 6 okay here is the cosin point you should take much care about this is very important whenever you come across negative sign to avoid any mistake in solving the example place negative sign always and the following terms in bracket be very conscious regarding this step next step 4x plus 8 let us open the bracket minus 3x minus minus plus 9 okay is equal to 60 as it is open the bracket minus 6x 
minus minus plus 6 is it clear please I am moving little left please verify the step ok can we move further from starting go on verifying each and every step with me it is important for you to understand them is it clear in your mind let us solve the like term plus 4x minus 3x see dear student I have seen student because it's a revision lecture I need to clarify some of the very important clue points that I have seen student making mistake in solving even like term on one side of the equation Th suppose they want to solve they are thinking of transferring you do not need to do it you just check the sign of both this is plus 4x this is minus 3x 4x minus 3x that is x 8 plus 9 that is 17 here also let us solve the like term I would like to write minus 6x first then 60 plus 6 both are positive so 66 next step I have to carry there due to the limitation of the board ok but first you tell it this 4x minus 3x that is x plus 8 plus 9 plus 17 minus 6x 60 plus 6 66 now it's a question of transferring the term be very conscious one step still I am writing here x transfer on this side plus 6x ok equals to 66 minus 17 x plus 6x equal to 66 minus 17 next step x plus 6x I have to carry the step here x plus 6x that is 7x 16 minus 7 that is 9 and 5 minus 4 that is 4 ok x equal to we got 49 upon 7 7 7 ja. so you got x equal to 7 first dear student please verify all the steps we have done in solving this example we got x equal to 7 and now we need to verify our answer a very important part first is it clear and have you noticed 
and noted down each and every step okay you must have done it let us go for the next part of the sum okay i am i have to erase this to comfort the next half of the sum okay here only x equal to 7 that's the answer we got okay and now let us go for the verification step you all know very well what is the meaning of verification at least by now because we solved two difficult examples of verification let me write it here this is the verification for this lhs what can i write x plus 2 upon 3 minus x minus 3 upon 4 x equal to 7 we have already got understood let us substitute 7 plus 2 upon 3 7 minus 3 upon 4 just verify dear student 9 upon 3 minus 4 upon 4 let us cancel it this comes out to be 3 minus 1 that is 2 we got lhs equals to 2 we are continuing the verification do you understood this lhs answer we got as 2 let us go for rhs okay 5 minus x minus 1 upon 2 value of x we know 7 minus 1 upon 2 5 minus 6 upon 2 5 minus 3 you got to result number 2 verify dear student both the results we acquired <coughs> both the result are equal that means it has been verified what that by substituting x equal to 7 in both the equation we are able to get correct answer and correct verification so at last what you will write dear student therefore from result you will write this way from result 1 and 2 just a simple statement it is verified nothing more you need to write from result 1 and 2 it is verified okay just have a look at the sum now dear student one very important thing 
द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल विच आई एम टारगेटिंग इन दैट एग्जाम्पल यू डो नॉट हैव टू ट्रांसफर द टर्म इन इनिशियल स्टेज यू डो नॉट हैव टू टेक एल सी एम understand this particular example which we are targeting now it that this example involves a total new trend of solving even linear equation you have to be very conscious when we solve the next example which involves not this concept of just taking lcm and solving it but an entirely a new concept okay let me write the sum first okay <coughs> let me write the example number okay 3 and then number 4 okay let me write sum we will solve the sum and at the same time after solving the example you also need to verify okay let me write solve write with me solve 2x plus 3 upon 3x plus 4 is equals to 2x plus 3 upon 3x plus 4 equal to 2x minus 3 upon upon 3x minus 2 this is the example 2x plus 3 upon 3x plus 4 equal to 2x minus 3 upon 3x minus 2. Verify your answer. Okay, this is the question, and this particular sum involves a totally new thinking. understand to solve this example here my student nowhere it looks like taking lcm nowhere it looks like transferring the term not at all then how can we solve such example okay what to do in solving such example be very conscious the uh, to study the step and analyze the step which are involved in solving such example let me write 2x plus 3 upon 3x plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 3 upon 3x minus 2 let us solve and i want to teach you the new way of solving such linear equation what you have to do dear student is simple 
क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ दिस टू लीनियर पोलिनोमियल एंड दिस टू सी आई एम राइटिंग द स्टेप टू एक्स प्लस थ्री एस द ब्रैकेट एंड नाउ दिस वन थ्री एक्स माइनस टू आई जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टी दिस प्लेस बी कॉन्सियस टू एक्स माइनस थ्री क्रॉस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर फर्स्ट यू सी दिस टू एक्स प्लस थ्री थ्री एक्स माइनस टू टू एक्स माइनस थ्री थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर जस्ट द स्टेप ऑफ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन नाउ हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई टू ब्रैकेट इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर ओनली इन अवर रेगुलर लेक्चर्स एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो आई हाईलाइटेड दिस टॉपिक दैट इवन द स्टूडेंट इन नाइन्थ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक इन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग द ब्रैकेट्स एंड सॉल्विंग दैम सो दैट शुड नॉट हैपन टू यू अंडरस्टैंड how will you multiply this to bracket first dear student 2x will multiply both this term okay 2x into 3x what should i write 6x square 2x in to minus 2 minus 4x you already multiplied to with this two terms now the second term which is plus 3 that you have to multiply with this 3 3 2 9x plus minus minus 3 to just 6. Please tell me this step. Very important step. He 2x will multiply this 2x into 3x. 6x square 2x into 4 8x minus 3 into 3x minus 9x minus plus minus Three four the twelve. Is it clear? Similar term can be cancelled on both side of the equation. Please be conscious regarding this. Six x square is cancelled. Which are the term left here? These two are like term nine x minus four x. That is five x minus six. On the right side, eight x minus nine x. That means minus x. Mine twelve. Clear. Transfer the term five x 
प्लस एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स दिस इज ट्रांसफर्ड सो सिक्स एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स अपॉन सिक्स कैंसल यू गॉट x equal to minus one. Please verify the step, dear student. Then we will move for the next half of the sum. That is for clarification and verification of the data. But first, you tell me all the steps. That's very important. Understood? First, you need to tell me. all the steps done here okay first you tell it dear student cross multiplication while you multiply two brackets no sign mistake should occur you should understand very well How to multiply two bracket? That is very very important. And one more concept: similar term can be cancelled. Dear student, this is plus six x square. This is plus six x square. You can't cancel if this is negative. Please. be very conscious both the term equal like term having similar sign can be cancelled okay so you got x equal to minus 1 now let us go for the next half of the sum and that is verification okay x equal to minus 1 we got after getting x equal to minus 1 let us go for verification okay let me write first lhs equals to 2x plus 3 upon 3x plus 4. Answer of x we got x equal to minus 1. Let us substitute 2 into minus 1 plus 3. Three into minus one plus four minus two plus three minus three plus four. You got one upon one. Result number one. Okay. You understood this. Let us verify for. R H S. What is R H S? Two X minus three upon three X minus two. Let us substitute the values two into minus one minus three. Three into Minus one minus two. Okay. Let us verify. Minus two minus three. Minus three minus two. Minus five upon minus five equal to one. Result number two. 
when you see both the results result number 1 and result number 2 it cross tally that the answer you found is thoroughly correct so what you will write the statement at the end from this is the statement you need to write from result 1 and 2 it is verified okay from result 1 and 2 it is verified see dear student this examples okay clear as far as what i want to convey is that as far as revision lectures are concerned it is not going to happen that we revive the whole chapter again and re-explain each and every topic but in the revision lecture we are targeting those some of the difficult examples whose solution you have to find but dear student it is a process that while solving those difficult examples will strengthen yourself and will strengthen your basics to solve simple example by yourself very clearly so you need to understand one thing that all examples which are done in revision lecture for the particular chapter you need to concentrate much while attending the lecture while solving the example and you need to perform the same example twice thrice at home understand to make your fundamentals and to make your basics very clear understood dear student so i think problems to i think maximum we have done understand in our regular lectures also right so i was supposing that some of such example which we wanted to take when we meet live but that is not possible that's why through this revision lectures i'm sending solution of all these difficult examples which you need to attend understand alertly with full attention check your basics and solve all this examples you understood this dear student so thank you very much for attending today's lecture okay